Hello there, I'm the Big Daddy D. I have a little dead year appearing for first time on camera. On camera, yes. Now today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're actually going to review some sort of food related item. Now the last time we did anything like this on the channel was when I uh, ate a... What was it? It was a deep fried... Uh, Mars bar, wasn't it, when we were on yeah. holiday in uh, in Tembe that time. About ages ago. And it wasn't really the review as such, it was just what? basically me eating the thing and saying no, things exactly. like, I can feel my arteries hardening. Yeah. I don't know if that classifies as a review or not. Technically. Anyway, but, uh, yes, yes. Uh, and also I think I said something like, that's quite disgusting but I'm glad I had it now. Mm -hmm. Which seems like a contradiction in itself. Anyway, today... We are going to have some sort of food related stuff. So, you know, rather than reviewing a movie or a video game or, or anything like that, or some pound land tat, we're going to take a look at some stuff that we bought from uh, Blackpool recently. It's uh, a stick of rock. Now then, how would you describe a stick of rock for people who don't live in the UK? You know, because I, I don't think you have sticks of rock in, um, in like America or anywhere like that. It's like a really hard rock, but a stick. Well, basically, it's a load of. Sugar. Yeah it's, like, it? yeah, it's like a load of sugar. It's like one of those real hard sweets, but it's a stick. It's like a real, yeah, it's like loads of sugar in the form of a stick. I mean, I don't know what's in the ingredients. Sugar, glucose, syrup, flavouring and colours. Oh, and look at all the E numbers. Ooh, that's a lot of E numbers. Basically, all, all the, I don't know if you can see that. Hang on, look at that. Ooh. There are many E numbers. Lots of, all the, some would say all the E numbers. <laughs> Healthy. So we could, we could be absolutely hyper. Um, so but basically, this is like something that you will see very much at a British seaside, very much like fish and chips, uh, sticks of rock, waffles and what have you. Anyway, normally a stick of rock would be uh, a normal flavour like strawberry, um, what, yeah. ras raspberry, mint and what have you. We're taking a look at some novelty flavoured sticks of rock like fish and chips, as well as <sighs> chicken tikka. Uh, we've got cheese and tomato pizza. And uh, traditional pasty. Cornish pasty. Cor Cornish pasty. What, what is a pasty then, just for, our Amer for American viewers? Or people who don't. Okay. It's basically like meat and... and Think a sausage roll, but instead of sausage, we put soup in it. Yeah, but very Although it's soup. not soup, it's actually mint and green. Oh, hang on. That bit's broken off, that's a good start. Oh, that's convenient. Right, okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna suck mine. Eat it for God's sake. Mm. Mm. It's very hard. I missed my rock being a bit soft. Mm. What are you getting there? Gravy. Mm, I'm gonna taste the gravy as well. Mm. Oh by the way, normally sticks of rock on the um Middle of it will say where it's from, like I might say Blackpool. That one just says, as you can see, that pasty rock. Right, all I'm getting there is quite a bland, a bland taste of rock with a slight hint of gravy. It's weird because it's meant to be sweets, but it's also mints. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Definitely getting that taste of gravy now. Doesn't really go, is it? It's like sweet with a sort of a savoury thing in there. Jesus. And I think about this fact, it sticks to your teeth. Mm. And it won't go away. If it tastes horrible, that's probably not such a good thing. Yeah, let's put that to one side. So It's not that bad, I'd probably eat that. It's it, it's very bland. It, it's like, because when you bite into a stick of rock, you get quite a flavour kicking in. That's quite a bland tasting stick of rock. With a slight <laughs> sort of aftertaste of gravy, which is just mm. weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I should take such a big bite of that. Yeah. Do I try? What do I try next? How about fish and chips? Mm. That's like a less crazy. Well, shall we, well, shall, well, let's go for it. Let's go for fish, fish and chips. Sticking yeah. in with that whole seaside thing. <clears throat> we went to Blackpool. We we're looking for like some seaside tap, didn't we? You know? Yeah. We didn't find that. Why well, this breaks weird? Isn't it? it does. Maybe it was already broken. We couldn't find sort of seaside tatters in Taj, but we found this. We thought. What does it say on the side? I think, it was... uh, I think it's meant to say fish and chips, but it's kind of died. It just <laughs> it kind of says chips, fish. Right, bon appetit. We know we've got a bouncer. <laughs> uh, oh, that one's a bit softer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a ah, oh, I'm getting a strong taste of fish. I shouldn't be surprised. It's fish and chip flavour. But I didn't think the oh Jesus. I actually like this one. 
I was expecting fish and chip, obviously. And I wasn't expecting the fish part to be that overpowering. Jesus. <laughs> That's horrible. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you just said you liked it. Yeah. Did Wait, you, you changed your mind? We don't have time to eat all the rest. <laughs> Are you sure we're going to finish that off later? Yeah. I'll fill it. That's <laughs> disgusting. It's not that bad. Right, I didn't taste any chips at all. Um, bite into it. Plus, with the Cornish pasta one, it was quite a bland flavour with like a, an aftertaste of gravy. This, you bite into it straight away, you get a taste of fish. It's like, my God. I mean... Like cod. Yeah. I'm just... Was, is it the white bit in the middle that's got, that got the... Uh... Yeah, I think so. The outside is just like a hard candy shell. Yeah. So, I mean... I don't think the colour really makes any difference, but I think it's the it's the it's the white bit that's the actual flavour, isn't it? It's whatever billions of flavours flavours were putting it. Yeah, it was oh I'm sorry, that is that's horrible. Let's go with the next one then, which is gonna be cheese and tomato flavour. Cheese and tomato pizza. Mm. This one might not be quite as uh, offensive, but I have been wrong before. I actually really like I actually really like cheese, so you know. What? Do you want to swallow a bit? <laughs> um, yes, go Just on, in then. case it ends up horrible. Yeah. All and, right. Uh, in the middle of that, it says Pizza Rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That is not. <laughs> that is not nice. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Jesus! It, it tastes like someone's been sick in my mouth. <laughs> Are you still eating it? What's <laughs> up with you? <laughs> I can tell you don't like it, but what could you fish it? You're still eating the bloody thing. That is horrible. <laughs> I don't know which one's been the worst. I tell you summer, I think that the Cornish pasty one. That's actually been the nicest one so far, only because it was fairly bland with like a little bit of gravy. <laughs> well, I can't eat it now. <laughs> Not covered in bloody water. Hmm. We better clean up afterwards, haven't we? Yeah, probably. Right. Um, what's been the worst so far? The fish one, all that one. Definitely pizza. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it it does, it just basically tastes like someone has just been sick and then froze it and turned it into rock. I ate more just to be sure if it was. Oh, oh, it's stuck in my teeth now. <laughs> the worst, the worst tasting one, and that's the one that gets stuck in my teeth. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> He's off. He's off. <laughs> Was it that bad? <laughs> I don't leave me. No, I just have to get it out of my teeth. Oh, um, have a drink. I'll drink um, the water. It not does. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Matt, we've got one more to get through. Oh, God. Right, last one is... Uh, chicken tikka. Chicken tikka masala. Since I've never had one of these before, this will actually be the first time I'm tasting it. Yeah, you don't actually... You're not a big fan on, on spicy uh, curries and, and things like that, are you? That's, that's pepperoni. I don't think pepperoni's quite the same, is it? I don't really. So, I mean, you're not really a big fan of curries and, and, and things like that in general. Sort of in Indian spices and things yeah. like that. This Man, I say Indian. Where's chicken, where does chicken tikka come from? It was invented in Birmingham, something like that one, mate. Right? Yeah, we're in Birmingham. <laughs> it's actually, like, completely British. It's like, you get, it's like, you know, you get Chinese knockoffs of things. This is the British knockoff of Indian stuff. <laughs> but yeah, it's all Which like, is the only time that's ever happened. It's, um... Everything's got quite a British flavour to it. I mean, like fish and chips, obviously very British. Um, well, cheese and tomato pizzas, like you know, Italian. And, and, and basti. That's that's basti. very that's very English. <laughs> and the only thing that that isn't sort of sort of English as such is is your cheese and tomato. Yeah. You know? But um, well, I'm real hungry. I'm real hungry for some cheese and tomato pizza right now. Look up, drippy cheese. You can't see it, can you? Which tastes nothing like the stick of rock. Yeah. Um, I'm, just a, bit, it's part of it, I'm just a bit concerned that this bit of paper is actually stuck to the rock. Will it actually improve the flavour? I wonder. <laughs> Oh, look, oh, oh, Jesus. Look, look, you made it worse now. Oh, that was bit, that's, that's another thing, a worse thing about a stick of rock, is that sometimes, I'm trying to show the camera this, is that sometimes when you get it, um, you peel the label off and you get lovely bits of paper on your stick of rock. <laughs> Check it here, I'll go wash it off. <laughs>
Well, let's give it a go. Right. Bon appetit. Oh. This will be the first time you've had chicken tikka of any description. So I might actually end up liking it, I don't know. Or it could end up scarring you for life. Yeah, I'll never be able to eat Indian food. Cheers. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, right. <laughs> hey, where's the test? <laughs> like someone's just taking a normal. Oh, God! Oh, it's kicking in! <laughs> it's like a powerful aftertaste! Mm. I'm gonna try this again. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> oh, no, a bit of naan bread would improve it. That's horrible. I think that's gonna be the worst one so far. Mm. I just high hopes so you, you betrayed me. Oh no, that's horrible. I'm sorry. Oh Jesus! I think that one has to be the worst one of the lot. It's like you've you've just you've just taken a stick of rock and rolled it around in some bloody curry powder. I don't want to finish off that fish and chips one now. So it's got all all the spice, but none of the none of the flavour. Right. So the worst one of the lot are going to be chicken tikka. That was that was horrible. Um, in third place, what do we think? Uh, probably the pizza, actually. Season two, yeah. Okay. Mm. Second place, fish and chips. Fish and chips. Yeah. Again, not saying it out lot. And uh, by a clear margin, the god is fast as a ball. Because it just because it was just because it was quite bland tasting. Oh, I'm still going to have to taste the. Chicken and because the flavour wasn't so bloody overpowering, I reckon between the, the, <coughs> the cheese and tomato one and the uh, chicken tikka one, that probably ranks as one of the worst things I've ever put in my mouth. And I've had some things in my mouth, I can tell you. But that's a story for another time. How about <laughs> never? <laughs> right, we better clean up this mess, haven't we? Right. Yeah. Until next time, I am the Big Daddy D. I'm Little Daddy E. And what have we learnt from this video? Don't go to Blackpool? Well, no, no. Blackpool's actually quite nice now. Right. They've, they've spent quite a lot of money on it. If you are going to Blackpool and you are buying a stick of rock, stick with flavours that you know are going to be good, like strawberry, uh, apple, lime, blueberry, raspberry. Blood of the innocent. Blood of the... Yes. Don't go with uh, these sort of wacky, innocent, you know, novelty ones, you know. They will kill you. Although they did have a Jägermeister one, which I might be quite interested in trying next yeah. time. But There's also the uranium one, which I'm not too sure about. You've just made that one up, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, until next time, uh, this is the Big Daddy Dean. Uh, this is the Little Daddy E. And we're signing out. Goodbye. <laughs>